Hi Sagittarius, this is Mary Chima Chasaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now. Sagittarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? All right, your first card is this one, the Fool card. They want me to look at this one as well. Behind the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So, there's something else which is calling me out. Give me a second. Which one? Someone seems to be very discontent. All right, not okay with how things are right now. There is this overwhelming feeling. All right, something is weighing you down and you're not okay with it. Um, the next card, yes, first words. I, I, I get this thinking energy. What's going on? Okay. You focused on a situation or a person and you're not liking how things are right now. There is something about with this full card and the wheel card, which is a card number 10. The 10 of wands is a card number 10 as well. So it, it's like the first card is a card number zero. So if something is weighing you down and you are unable to figure it out or, you know, it's, 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 it's always on your head and you're not liking it, you want to get past it. Okay. Because a cycle starts from zero, it ends at 10. So you want to end the cycle. You want to move past it. All right. Um, that's why I'm saying you want to figure this out. Hmm? There is something about, you know, uh, taking your chances. Okay. When I'm looking at the full card, It's, it's like getting past it. Let's see what, what this is about. Uh, we've got a Sagittarius energy, a Cancerian energy, a Libra energy. That's it. Sagittarius, can we have the next card, please? You just want to get past whatever is weighing you down. I don't know what you're up to with that full card, but you are wanting to, you know, move forward. It's it's like start over probably with that wheel card and the full card, starting over, taking your chances. Hmm. Can we have the next card, please? Start, uh, starting a new cycle, actually. Okay, when I'm looking at the full and the wheel. Can we have the next card, please? Sagittarians, can we have the next card, please? This one. The Emperor. Okay. Uh, behind the deck is a Queen of Swords. This is between two people. All right. This, this is a person whom you're dealing with. All right. I might be speaking directly to the Emperor. Who's willing to take the chances? The Queen of Swords is somebody who's very cutthroat. All right, very straightforward. Kind of icy as well. All right. Um, people, people see the Queen of Swords as an icy bitch, all right? Icy queen. People think they don't have any kind of emotions. Very cutthroat. Hmm? Very sharp tongue, probably. Uh, this person is very logical, very practical, all that. Very straightforward person. Weighs things out and is very fair and righteous. So the emperor is focused on this person because the full card is going towards the queen of swords. All right. Can we have the next card, please? Ten of Cups, it's not your next card, but they want to talk. You're looking at the Page of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This could be the energy right now. The Queen of Swords is coming through as the Page of Swords. 
all right? Just for me, it's a bitch card as well, all right? Um, it seems like they're coming through as a little defensive, all right? Whoever you're dealing with, things are pretty much in limbo, okay? Things are stagnant. This person is, you know, this is a person who's very vocal as well. Hmm? But there is something about things. Um, yeah, coming to a full stop or it's just, you're trying to figure them out. Okay. You see them as the star. With this star card, you see them, uh, this person as the star. Your dreams, wishes, desires. If it's someone whom you're involved with, then that's the kind of person. Or this is a star personality, all right? Something about them is... All right, uh, Ten of Cups. Another card is peeping out, which is a Six of Cups. You might... This could be somebody in the family, all right? The Ten of Cups is a family... Uh, you know, it could be a significant other. Somebody who's very close to you, all right? You have a good connection with this person. This is a family card or someone who's very close to you. Ten of Cups. Um, again, someone who's very close to you. But the thing is, um, yeah, behind the Ten of Cups is a Queen of Wands. Something about them is, you know, there is some kind of a distance. All right, they've gone a little icy on you and you're not liking it. With that Four of Cups energy, you're just not liking it. And you keep thinking, what's what's going on? You know, that kind of energy. You want to get back to this Three of Cups, all right? Uh, wanting to be back together. This is what you had once upon a time with the Six of Cups, the connection which you had. You want that back. This is what you're wishing for, okay? Yeah, celebrating together, all that. You're wishing on this person to, you know, to return to where it was once upon a time or what you shared once upon a time. You might be dealing with someone who's like the Queen of Wands. All right. There is a sense of confusion. When you think about them, even we uh, we started off with a reading with that four swords and the ten of wands, like too much on the head, you know, just weighing you down, just thinking about them, like what's going on, all that. Uh, I get this energy of being confused, not actually knowing what went wrong. Okay. A state of confusion. All right, moving on. Can we have the next card, please? Sagittarians. All right, this is your next card. This person could be a star personality because it's coming back again. Okay, two of pentacles. The world card. You want, yeah, uh, the star and the world card. This person could be out, you know, a public figure. All right, out in the world. You might be dealing with a celebrity. I'm <laughs> just saying. Okay. Yeah. Whatever is going on with this person is just, you know, just weighing you down. With this ten of wands and the two of pentacles, you're just trying to figure out. All right, even with the two of pentacles, it's it's like you're weighing it out. All right, you, you want to hold on to this person? Uh, you want a second chance with this person? But it's, it's, it's just a little too much right now. That's why with the full card, because all these three cards, all these three cards, ooh, the fool, the emperor, and the star card, major arcanas. This is important for you. 
all right this person could be important for you all right can we have the next card please so whatever step you're taking towards them it's massive all right can we have the next card please All right. But, uh, while I was shuffling, I saw the Ten of Swords. All right. There is something about things ending. All right. But uh, your next card is the Nine of Wands. There is something which is making the Emperor a little, um, yeah, overwhelmed as well. Uh, but uh, this is about being very concerned. All right. You're tired. You're exhausted with whatever is going on. Okay. It's, it's the anticipation. Of what? Yes. It's, it's like with this five pentacles, you are worried. All right. This is why I said the ten of swords. I saw the ten of swords that was important. Um, and it was in between the shuffling. So it's, it's like five pentacles out of the gold. You are not in connection with this person. Earlier, it was a six of cups. The ten of cups, six of cups. It's, it's a connection which you had. All right. You don't have it anymore. You're not together anymore. All right. And this is worrying you. That is why with that four of cups in the very beginning, it's it's like you are not okay with this. You are not happy with how things are right now. All right. Because, uh, yeah. It's, it's like you're on the edge, on the fence. Like, what do I do about this? All right, because you feel like they've shut you out. All right, with the five pentacles. Five pentacles, it's it's like a separation phase. Um, someone um, is put out in the uh, a sense of feeling, you know. It's it's like being put out in the cold. You you're just not together anymore. Hmm? If it's a financial situation, it's it's like you're struggling, but it's more like two people, all right? Because the Queen of Swords came through alone. The Emperor is focused on the Queen of Swords or whoever the star person is. All right. You are not liking this distance between the two of you. It's hard. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with another Sagittarius energy or probably... Um, what was that? The Taurus, uh, a Taurus energy. The star card is an Aquarius energy. Can we have the next card, please? Can we have the next card, please? The last card, Sagittarius. Very short reading. Uh, yeah. Can we have the last card, please? Or a Gemini energy with that ten of swords. This person is on your mind. Okay, with that four of swords repeating itself, it came initially as well, along with the four of cups and the ten of wands. Yeah. It's like something is making you worried. When I'm looking at these two cards together, it's, it's, uh, I told you, you're concerned, right? Probably with that five pentacles, you shut them out and this is like, you know, Yes, three of wands. You, it, it's almost like you want this person to return. All right, with this first swords and the three of wands. It's, this is a merchant who's waiting for the ship's return. So first swords, you can see this person. There are three swords which is hanging over his head. All right, so it's, it's always on the mind. And then uh, they have this hands in, the, uh, in this prayer position. So it, it's like wishing and praying for this person to return. Okay. So you're doing something drastic about it, all right? It's, it's almost taking a gamble, all right, to make them return, all right? Because uh, behind the Three of Wands is the High Priestess energy. So it's, it's a sense of knowing, but then you are in this anticipation whether it will actually work out, okay? I'm done with the reading. <laughs> I was that was really short. 
Um, some of you might be dealing with a Libra energy, an Aries energy, or probably a Pisces energy. I'm just going to break the deck here. This one. Five Pentacles. Maybe you, something you did made them feel, you know, I, I don't get the sense of betrayal, but it, it's like outcasted, okay? And that didn't sit well. That didn't sit well. And this is weighing heavy on your head. Probably you realize you didn't do right. Yeah, so it, it's like fixing something. Yeah, because this is like, you know, with the wheel card and the fool card, it, it's like doing something about it. Yeah, that's it. I wish you the very best. I, I just don't know what this is about. Let me know. Where is... Oh, wow. Yep. That's it for now. This is Marishi. Watch out. Look at the next time. Bye-bye.